Hello everyone, um, this is Kids Yoga and it is Friday night. So if you are here to join me, grab a mat um, and blocks and anything else you might need and meet me on your mat. All you need to do is find a comfortable position seated on your mat. Perfect. You just settle in, make yourself comfortable, move around a little. Good. And today, I'm not going to read this whole book, but I'm going to read a couple parts of this book. It is called The Day You Begin. It's by Jacqueline Woodson. It's illustrated by Rafael Lopez. And it's just about um, being different and um, that's okay, really. So I'm just going to read a few little parts of the book today, sort of as our beginning, as we are breathing, just to set the tone for today. So, as you are sitting nice and comfortably, let put your little crown on. Yeah, put your crown on, right? You got to keep that crown nice and tall on your head. So you got to feel like that crown is reaching for the ceiling. Our spine is nice and long. We're grounded into our floor. Good. And taking some deep breaths. Take a big inhale into your nose and blow it out through your mouth. Good, one more time. Inhale, and blow it out. This time when you inhale, on the exhale, blow it out like a balloon that is losing all its air, okay? So inhale, exhale. <sighs> Right? Can you picture a balloon floating across the room? Okay. So you continue to take some deep breaths in and out. And I'm going to read a few pages from this book. Okay. And it says, there will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you. Okay. So think of that. Think of if there was ever a time you went to school and... Maybe you are new at the school, or you're in a new country, or just a new town, um, or it's maybe the first time you went to school, any of those things. And think about how you felt. Do you even, no matter what, you're going to feel a little different because everybody knows each other, right? There will be times when the world feels like a place that you're standing all the way outside of. And all that stands beside you is your own brave self steady as steel and ready, even though you don't know yet what you're ready for. All right? So even though you are scared, you are ready, right? Because you are brave and you can do all these great things on your own, no matter who you are. And all at once in the room where no one else is quite like you, the world opens itself up a little wider to make some space for you. Did you find that when you went into a new place like that, that once you met people and you started talking and they started talking, you could celebrate the things that made you guys different and the things that made you alike. This is the day you begin to find the places inside, your laughter and your lunches, your books, your travel and your stories, where every new friend has something a little like you and something else so fabulously not quite like you. So you can read this book if you would like to read the whole thing. Or today we're just gonna focus on being ourselves. So think of all the great things that you love about being you and then maybe think about all the great things you love about your friends, especially the things that make them a little different from you. Right? Because if they were all the same, that would be kind of boring. So let's today celebrate how we are amazing and how all the people that we love and hang out with and know are amazing too. So if you're ready, let's get started. So let's inhale and bring our arms up over our head 
and then exhale, bring our hands back. Good, this time we're gonna inhale, push our hands up, and exhale to open. Nice, so we're kind of making a giant circle. Inhale, and exhale. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Perfect, bring your hands to your knees, and on our inhale, we're gonna pull on our knees and open our heart up towards the sky. Like our heart is trying to kiss a cloud. And then on our exhale, we're gonna round our belly. Yeah. Maybe we're trying to hide something in our bellies. Or maybe we ate that, trying to hide that candy bar we weren't supposed to be eating. Inhale. And exhale. And again, inhale. And exhale. Good. Coming back to sit. And take, I'm taking my left hand to my right knee. So just do the opposite hand with the opposite knee. And we're just going to gently twist here. Yeah. Just warming up our spine. So we are ready to do some pretty amazing poses today. And then we're going to rainbow our arms up over our heads and switch sides. feeling our bodies twisting here just letting everything move a little bit warming our whole body up good and back and last time around love those rainbows and come back to center we're gonna walk our fingers forward stretching our fingers as far forward as they can go, stretching those shoulders. So imagine you're trying to climb up a really big mountain. You gotta use your fingers. Good job. And come back in. Great. Make your way to a tabletop so you can roll over those feet and come to a tabletop. Wrists are under your shoulders, knees are under hips. And just move here a little bit. Just move around. Right. I have a little dog and every time she gets up, she stretches out, she stretches forward and back and side to side. She's a little old lady dog. So that's what we're gonna do. Move around like a little puppy. All right, wag your tail. And when you're ready on our inhale, we're going to drop our belly. We're going to look all the way up. Good. And on our exhale, we're going to round our spine like an angry cat. You know, like when a cat gets really angry and its back goes up like this. And then inhale, look up. Arching our back. Exhale, rounding to our angry cat. And again, one more time. Inhale to our cow pose. And exhale to our angry cat. Good. Coming back to neutral. So we are going to reach our left arm forward and our right foot back. So we're going to be balancing here. So. so first reach that left arm forward like you're shaking hands. Then that right leg comes back, keeping those hips nice and square. Good. Kind of like someone's trying to pull your arm and your leg in the opposite directions. And you are saying, staying super still and solid right in the middle. Good. Arm and knee come down and again. Wag that tail a little bit. Little happy puppy. And other side. Right arm comes forward and our left foot comes Reaching, stretching here, but feeling that belly button pull in and up, right? So you might, your belly might be like blah, 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 moving around a little bit right here. Maybe your arms shaking a little. That just means you're doing lots and lots of work. And come back down. Great. Bring your big toes together and widen your knees and then sink your hips back so they are resting on those heels. Good. We're gonna walk our arms forward. And coming to our child's pose. 
You can rest your head or your forehead or your chest on the floor and just stretch those arms forward. to our tinkle. Right. So from here, we're just gonna walk our knees back a little bit so they're not directly under our hips. So we sort of wanna make a, a diagonal from our knees to our hips. So you see how it's not making a diagonal? Yes, good. And we're gonna bend our elbows and keep them really close to our ribs and lower all the way to our belly. Good, you guys are doing great. Pushing into the tops of the feet. Inhale, lift your head. Look side to side, cobra pose. And lower. Coming back to our table. Great work. This time, keeping our hands right where they are, we're gonna come to our toes and come to our plank pose, right? Nice, long, and straight. We're gonna rock to our toes. And this time, let's lower all the way down. Just like we did, so keeping those elbows in, lower all the way down to your belly, like you're doing a push-up, but you don't have to push all the way back up. And inhale, up to that baby cobra. Maybe push all the way up to a full cobra. Look around, right? Imagine what you would see if you were a cobra, what the environment would be. And come back to that tabletop. Job. Curl those toes under, and we are going to reach our hips up towards the back corner, coming to our down dog. So we're going upside down. Yes, just like that. Let your head hang heavy. Shake your head. Yes, no. Make circles with your head. Good. And then just walk your dog here. So bend one foot and then the other foot. Right, like you're walking the dog. Do, 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 do. When you're ready, slowly walk those feet up to the top of your mat where your hands are, coming into a rag doll. So we are gonna stay folding over. You can bend those knees. You want your head reaching towards the floor. Woo. You can grab opposite elbows here. And just sway maybe side to side. one is coming up like you're uncurling your measuring tape until you're standing straight up and reach your arms up yeah and bring your hands to heart center nice work guys keeping those big toes together we're gonna sink our hips down like we're sitting in a chair and coincidentally or conveniently this is called our chair pose so we're gonna sink our hips down coming into a chair yeah. Imagine you're sitting at a desk or a table at school. It's been a while, so you gotta dig back in that memory. Right? Think about maybe what you would be doing. Maybe you're at lunch, playing a game with a friend, doing some math. Good. And we are gonna rock forward and come just to our toes. See if you can do it. Rock to your toes. Yes, better balance. Nice. Bouncing on our toes. And drop those heels. Reach up. Good. I'm going to face this way so you can see what I'm doing. Grab your left hand with your right and pull to the side. Making like a C shape here. It kind of reminds me of like a crescent moon. And coming back to stand. 
You're just switching hands. Pulling that arm over. Nice feeling that body stretch all on that whole side of your body. Coming back. Reaching those arms super high up. And we're gonna bring our fingers forward like it's rain. So we, our arms are gonna come and rain the rain down, folding forward. Good. Bring your hands to your shins, coming to a flat back. Maybe just look around on safari. Do, 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 do. And fold. And roll back up. Nice. Let's do that whole thing one more time. So inhale, our arms come up. Exhale, we're going to rain forward. Hands come to shins and fold and roll. Nice. How does that feel? Hopefully, you feel nice and warm. Good. We are going to start by stepping, standing at the top of our mat. We're going to step our right foot back. Okay? And we're going to keep the heel up. So we're going to come to a high lunge here. So we crescent lunge. So we're going to step our back foot, our right foot back. Good. Keeping our hips pointing to the front. Yes. Nice work. Just letting, feeling it, stretching in those legs here. And then straighten the knee. And then bend it. One more time. Straighten it. And bend it. And we are going to go into a totally funky position from here, okay? We're going to take our right foot, we're going to step it up, and we're going to cross it over our left. So I'm just going to move this way so you can see what my legs are going to do. So I'm going to bring all my weight into my left foot, step up, and cross my right foot over my leg. Yeah, and then sink down into that chair pose, and your hands can come to your heart right here. These are eagle legs here. Trying to balance, fall a little lower. Maybe bring your arms out like the wide wingspan of an eagle right here. Yeah. And then stand up. You can uncurl those legs and wiggle everything out. Perfect. Now, let's take the other side. So this time let's step our left foot back, coming to that high lunge. Just chilling here for a minute. Not really a minute, a few breaths. Chilling here for a few breaths. Sinking down. Yeah, feeling our legs start to warm up. And straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. Nice, and we are gonna step that left foot up and cross it over our right. This time, yes. All right, so I'll turn to face the front. So we step and cross over. Hands can come to heart center. Eagle legs on the other side. Maybe your arms are giant eagle wings and you're soaring over a lake or a stream, the forest. And wiggle it all out. reach up. Coming back to the top of our mat, reach up and reach those hands back. Yes. Like you could touch the wall behind you with your hands. You don't have to do that. Just imagine that you can. And coming back up. And hands come to heart center. Amazing. Right foot steps back again. So we're going to, it's going to start the same way. High lunge, just like we did. And again, straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. This time, reach those arms up. And we're going to open out to our warrior two. Our back foot is parallel. Our right leg, just kidding, our left leg is pointing in the same direction as it was. So we're just opening our hips out to the side. So we went from facing forward to sideways. Arms come out, super strong warrior pose. Yeah, imagine 
all the things you have to have or to feel to be a warrior, right? You have to be brave and courageous, strong and really smart too, right? You gotta use your head and think. And then think about all those awesome traits about ourselves we thought about earlier. Are any of those some of the traits that a warrior would have? I bet they are. And come back. Good. And we're going to reach forward. And we're going to bring that left arm to that left leg and reach our right arm up. Amazing. Yes. Coming to our side angle here. And reverse. And come back and move all your toes to the front. And bring your hands right to your hips. Good. From here, I want you to bend into that right knee. Right? So just bend that right knee and that left leg stays straight. Your arms are going to come out and you're just going to hinge forward a little bit. So it's like you are a speed skater and you're going to the side, but you're like you're stuck in a picture, right? Someone took a picture of you right here. So you're frozen in this spot. Good, hold it one more second. And come back up. Great. And turn that foot back to our warrior two. Come back to our lunge. And step to the front. And wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Let it all go. And other side. Same thing. So I'm going to do it from this end so you can see me. I forget which leg I just, just did. So, okay, so now I'm going to step our left leg back. There we go. Sometimes I need some help. Straighten. And bend. Straighten. Bend. And arms come up. And open to that warrior two. You might have to move your feet a little. You might have to hide in your stance to get into that strong warrior pose. Yeah. Good. Bring back all of those great things that a warrior has. And then think about your friends and your family and other people that you think are super strong and smart and brave. Right? I bet they're warriors too, just like you. And flip that front palm. Reverse. Ooh, I'm falling over. I was looking at something. And come back. And reach forward and coming into our side angle on the other side. Right? So sometimes you're doing yoga and you fall over. That's totally fine. Right? Just do you. Get back in your pose. Keep going. It happens. Right? You don't want to do things that are hard. No. Um, not hard work, but you don't want to do things that are boring and not always the same, right? So you want to do things that are fun. So it's okay if you fall out sometimes and you come back. Totally fine. All ten toes facing the same direction. This time we're going to bend that left knee, right? And arms come out, hinging forward. Yes, yeah, same thing that we did on the other side. We're now frozen. Our picture was taken on the other side of our speed skating little pose here. Good. Last breath. And come up. And back to our warrior. And back to our lunge. And step to the top of our mat. And wiggle everything out. So far, so good. Hope we're all feeling nice and warm and ready to continue. Good. So let's come back into that chair pose. Bring our toes, those big toes together, and sink our hips down and bring our arms up. Good. Sorry. And then we're going to bend our elbows and come so our arms are at like goal posts here or cactuses, cacti. We're going to cross our arms. We're going to bring our left arm under our right arm. So they cross right at the elbows. Yep. And you can grab your shoulders or you can keep them up. 
I'm just sinking down here. And come back and switch sides, right arm under left. Good. And come back, last breath. Your legs should be burning and folding forward. And then roll back up. Awesome. If you have blocks, I want you to grab them. If you don't, that is okay. okay. So we're going to use our blocks this time. Um, not right away, so you can just put them towards the top of your mat. So we are going to step our right foot back, coming to that lunge. Perfect. But now we are going to lower that knee. Okay, and uncurl that back toe. Good. So we are right here. Just up on that knee. Our knee's under our hip. And you can use blocks here if you want, but you don't have to, so you don't need a block here. I'm gonna use it so you can see. Uh, I'm gonna put my hand, my right hand on the block, and I'm gonna reach my left arm up and over. Right, so if you don't have a block, you can just reach over. Just keep that hand by your thigh. And come back and then switch sides. This time the right hand comes back good now I'm gonna walk my blocks forward so that my hands are right on around that left foot and then I'm gonna walk that knee back so it's not directly under my hip good so I'm just gonna sink down here yeah and then I'm gonna straighten those toes Straightening that front leg, pointing my toes up. And then I'm gonna lean forward, bending the left knee. And then straighten. Good, two more times. Bend and straighten. And last one, bend and straighten. And come back. And this time we're gonna take our left foot and bring it back. So we're back in that tabletop. Yeah. This time we're going to put our arms down so that our fingers are pointing forward, our elbows are under our shoulders. We're gonna curl our toes and lift our hips, coming into dolphin. So it's very similar to down dog, but your arms are down. Your forearms down. We're going to take the other side. So, right knee, foot steps between our hands. Right? And then we come up to stand. So, we start here. And I won't, I'm not going to use block this time. So, first, our right hand is going to come up and over. And then switch, and our left arm comes up and over. And again, if you want, you can grab the blocks here. And we walk that left knee back. Yeah. And just sink into that hip here. Right into that low runner's lunge. Just for a couple breaths. And then straight in that front knee. make our way back into that dolphin one more time. So coming to the forearms, curling the toes, hips reach up, dolphin pose. And knees down. 
and just sink your hips back. Good, come into that child's pose again. And walk your hands to the right side of your mat. And walk them back. And walk your hands to the left side of your mat. And walk them back. And come back to our tabletop. Curl your toes. Down dog. And then walk to your hands. Baby roll up. Great. You guys are doing an amazing job. And so I'm going to step my feet a little bit but more than hips width apart. My superhero pose. So this is our superhero pose. This is, I don't, it just reminds me of the superhero standing here. Do, 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 do. Good. And what we are going to do is we are going to bend into that right foot. So our left leg is straight. And then we're going to pick up our left foot. Yes. And then we're going to step with our left foot and bend and lift the right. Okay. So let's do it again. Bend. And lift, trying to keep you balanced the whole time. And lift the last time. Lift, bend, lift, and back to our superhero. Good. Reach those arms up. We're going to bring our left hand to our right foot. Okay, so we're going to come down. Our right hand can just come to your lower back. And then gently look towards that right side. Gently twisting. And then come up. And switch right hand to left leg. Left foot. And twist. And come back up. And bring your hands to heart center. And jump your feet in together. Boop. Great job. Okay, we're going to do a ba another balance pose here before we go to the floor, okay? So, let's root into, actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to use our blocks, okay? So, if you don't have them, that's okay. You don't need them. You can balance without the blocks, okay? But if you have them, put them in your hands, right? Are you thinking, how am I going to balance? So, blocks are in my hands. Well, we are going to keep them in our hands. We're going to reach forward with our blocks. We're going to put our weight in our right foot and we're going to lift our left leg behind us. Yes. And then we're going to reach our blocks behind us. Going to our airplane pose. And if we want, you can drop your blocks to the floor or you can stay up. So if you don't have blocks, you can try to balance the whole But if you want to come down, you can do that. And then maybe bring your upper body down. Whichever way you want to do it. And step down. Roll all the way up. Other side. So this time, we put all our weight in our left leg. Arms come behind us. Our right leg goes behind us too. Keeping our hips square. Perfect. And if you feel like dropping those hands, go ahead and do that. Whatever you want. Amazing. And then make your way to your bottom, sitting on your mat. Ah, okay. So, we are sitting, but we already did this pose at the beginning, right? So I want you to put your, the soles of your feet together like a butterfly, right? So just rock back and forth until you feel nice and comfortable here. Rocking, rocking, rocking. I'm holding my ankles. You can hold your feet. You can hold your knees, whatever is comfortable. I like to hold my ankles. So my arms are sort of nice and straight here. Good. And then we're gonna bend our elbows and we're gonna hinge forward a little bit. 
So it's like our elbows are coming towards our knees. They don't have to push on your knees, but they can just rest by your knees. Okay, you don't want it to hurt. But you want it to feel like you're doing some work, right? And go back up. And stretch down. Last time, and down. And back up, and straighten those legs out in front of you. And just wiggle them. Wiggle them around. This always reminds me of ocean waves, right? So maybe, what do you picture, right? Ocean waves, maybe. Maybe you picture something else. Whatever you want. Arms reach up. We're gonna hinge forward, reaching for our toes flexing those toes back so they're pointing sort of at your face right maybe you wiggle them a little toes are trying to stay high little finger waves toe waves with your feet and stretching here good you can gently rock side to side yeah you know take in all those little movements and come back up and we're going to take our right leg out just a little bit so it's at a diagonal and take your left foot to the inside of that one right so your body makes a check mark check done arms come up and hinge down nice completing our check mark nice thick check mark maybe it's in i never use red pen or red so much on paper so maybe like green or purple those are my favorites to use when i'm writing on students papers And back up and switch sides. Left foot comes out, right foot comes in. Arms up and reaching down. Check mark on the other side. Hmm. This would actually be a backwards check mark, but that's okay. This would be my kind of check mark. I'm left handed, so whenever I write things, right? My whole hand has to go through all the things that I just wrote. So I always have pen all over me. So if we wrote check marks backwards, that'd work for me. And back up. Wiggle those legs out. Good. Okay. So we are going to go into a couple more seated poses before we go on to our back, okay? So I don't know why I said crisscrossed applesauce there, but I just like to sit that way. So legs out in front. We're gonna cross our right foot over our left leg. So our left leg stays straight. Our right foot comes to the outside of that left knee. Okay, so like if we were sitting in a chair, our legs would be crossed. Got it? Good. Our left arm's gonna come to the outside of that right knee. And we're just gonna gently open and twist here. And then come back, but keep those legs crossed. So the right leg is going to stay right where it is. We're going to bend our right knee, and our toes are going to go towards the right. Okay? Just like that. Yes. So it's almost like your legs are in a little bow tie. This is what it reminds me of a bow tie. It might not look like a bow tie to you, right? So the bow's here, and then the strings, right? When you make like a Christmas bow, they go out to the sides. That's what it looks like. And then I'm going to grab a strap, okay? You can grab a strap or a towel or you can just use your shirt like you can when um, we do this is called cow face pose. So I'm going to straighten my left arm and I'm going to bend it at the elbow, right? Like I'm giving myself a nice little pat on the back. Then on my right arm is going to reach around and up towards my left hand. If you can reach, your fingers reach, then you can grab them. If not, you can do what I'm doing and use something. You can hold something in that left hand, right? And then grab it with the right hand and pull down. Good. Or if you don't have a strap, you can just use your shirt, right? Grab your shirt at the top and at the bottom. Just sort of pull. Don't rip it though. Gentle, gentle pulling. Good. And you can raise your hands. And so 
we can just switch sides or you can do the magical little twist to get to the other side, okay? So if you want to do the magical little twist, you're gonna take your hands, they're gonna come on your left side, right? By your left foot, and you're gonna place your hands down. You're just gonna to come to your feet and you're gonna walk your hands behind you and sit back down on the other side. Yeah. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna straighten that right leg out. Keep the left leg bent. Right arm to the outside of that left knee and twist. Twisting it open here. Good, come back. And again, bending that right knee, creating our little bow tie. It's like our knees are on top of each other and our feet are going in opposite directions. And if you want to use a strap, you can use strap. So this time our right arm comes up and bends, right? Like you're giving yourself a pat on the back and the left arm comes around the side and reaches up. One side is going to be a little bit, your fingers will be closer on one side probably than the other. So if one side seems super hard, that's totally normal. This is my really hard side, okay? Or less flexible side, I guess. Right, my hands are much further apart on this side. That's okay. It's all just about your muscles. Okay, release that. And you can take those legs apart, bring your feet together again, and come back to that butterfly. Work, everyone we're gonna come into a turtle pose so this is kind of awkward to get into that's okay we're gonna take it slow so we straighten our legs out or well we reach our feet out sort of diagonally or like your straddle right you can make like a straddle here yeah but what you're gonna do is you're gonna bend your knees in your straddle okay and you're gonna hinge forward and your, you want your elbows and your upper arms to come under your thighs here, if they can, and reach around. Yes, you can grab your ankles. And then just hinge forward here, right? Maybe try and straighten those legs so that your arms are sort of under your legs. This is our turtle pose. slowly come up and just walk those feet back and crisscross the feet coming to sit place your right hand on the mat and reach your left arm over and switch left hand down right arm over good a couple of times here you can just go at your own speed going back and forth back and bring those hands to those knees again and inhaling to open exhaling to round just like we started with right inhale and exhale last time does it feel a little bit different when we do it at the end than when we did it at the beginning and come back great job so make your way onto your back okay Lowering down. We're gonna press our feet into the floor, walking our heels as close to our hips as they can go, but keeping our feet on the floor. And press into our hands. We're gonna lift our hips up, come into a bridge. Think of all the bridges you know about. The Brooklyn Bridge, the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, I should be able to think of more bridges. Captain Z, the Washington, the George Washington. So there are lots of bridges, right? So think of a bridge, right? It's gonna be strong. So especially if there's water underneath it, boats 
can go under it, our cars can go under it, as well as going over it. So you want your whole body, right? So you want to be nice and solid. So imagine cars driving over your body, going underneath your super strong bridge. Whew, and lower down. And walk your feet to the outside and just knock your knees together in the middle. Yeah. And then windshield wiper those legs back and forth. Stretching them out a bit. And coming back and let's do another bridge. Ready? Push into those feet. Maybe shimmy those shoulders together and clasp your hands underneath so your hips can go a little higher. Nice. Making a nice ramp with your whole body. Super strong bridge. And when you're ready, coming down. This time, put the soles of your feet together and let your knees splay open. Yeah. This is a nice, relaxing pose. together and pull your knees in towards your chest and just roll rock and roll right, rocking side to side maybe rolling forward and back a little give your spine a little massage and then go back to side to side we're gonna reach our feet up and grab the outsides of our feet and pull our knees in towards our armpits coming to our happy baby and you can move side to side if you want You can straighten those legs out, keep them bent. You know, feeling the motion, feeling your body, doing what feels good to you, right? Being your unique self. Right? All right. So appreciating the things that you're good at, but also appreciating the things that maybe other people are good at, that you're not so good at. Because it's okay. You bring those knees back in. This time we're going to keep our right knee in and straighten our left. Good. Pulling that right knee in towards our chest. And switch. We're going to bring our left knee in and straighten our right knee. And both knees come in. Okay, one more time with that whole thing. So right knee in. And then switch left knee. And then both knees. Yeah. And planting your feet, grabbing a block if you have one. If not, find a wall and place your bum up by the wall and lengthen your legs right up the wall. Or you can use a block. So if you're not near a wall or you don't want to use a wall, you can use block to put it right under your lower back and then lift your feet up into the sky that way. And just rest here. Yeah. Circle the ankles. One direction. And stop and circle them in the other direction. And again, back. And last direction here. And then point your feet. Maybe do opposites. Point one, flex one. Switch. Good. And then just let those feet chill. Let them just hang out, hang out up in the sky for a little bit. Right? Our feet are always underneath us. So let's give them a chance to be on top. New direction to look at the world. Whenever you're ready, you can come down and move that block if you have one. Come back and bring both knees in. This time, bring your nose up towards your knees and see if you can make yourself into a nice little ball. 
and come down. And one more time, we're going to come into a ball. And down. And bring your feet down. Stretch those legs out long. Let your arms rest by your sides. And take some deep breaths here in our final resting pose of Shavasana. And while you lay here relaxing, remember that this is the day you begin to find the places inside, your laughter in your lunches, your books, your travel, and your stories, where every new friend has something a little like you and something else so fabulously not like you at all. And just remember that, right? Remember how great it is that we're so unique. We can teach each other new things, right? That's fun. When we get to learn about different cultures from our friends or different food or different sports, different stories that we like, to maybe even just different things that our parents do or our families do for holidays, all those things. It's fun to learn about how other people do things that we do in a totally different way. Right? And then we all learn a little, we get to know each other a little bit better, and we all get to celebrate how awesome we are on our own and for who we are. When you're ready, pull your knees in and just roll to one side, coming to our embryo pose, right? So our Shavasana, that's our pose. We just let everything go. We just relax and we melt into the floor, right? In our embryo pose, we come to our side with our knees pulled in. And this shows us or symbolizes a new beginning, right? So we let go and then we start over. Right? It's like a life cycle, our little yoga life cycle. When you're ready, come up to sitting and bring your hands to your heart. Take a nice deep breath in and sigh it out. Good. So now I want you to imagine that you're holding some dandelions. So you know when the dandelions, they stop being yellow, right? And they have just like the little seeds and they're white and they look like these little puffs. So that is what I want you to imagine that you're holding right now. And we are going to take three breaths together and we're going to take a deep breath in and we're going to blow our little dandelion seeds to spread our love and our joy and our uniqueness everywhere today. Okay. So inhale. Again, last time. So those seeds that we're spreading out about us, maybe those are those great, amazing things that we see in ourselves that we love so much that we are going to share with the people around. Uh, hands come to heart center. Bring those fingers right up to your forehead. And namaste. Thank you all for coming. As always, it is a pleasure to be here. And I hope to see you next week. Have an amazing weekend. And I think next week's the last week of school. So yay for almost summer vacation.